All right, welcome back to the Friday Night Frenzy. We switch gears from football to basketball where the girls' JNC Hoops Classic continued tonight with semifinal action at Harrison. And we start off with the Raiders who squared off against Central Catholic a year ago. Harrison won eight games, something that they haven't done since the 04-05 season. This guy's senior year. How about a little bit jacket. of a throwback there? Both teams juiced up for this one. Cameron Onkin and company in hostile territory on Harrison's home court. Raiders senior Claire Muller focused before the game. That focus would pay off. Just seconds in, right spot, right time. Underneath the hoop, easy lay-in. Game tied up early on. Back for Central Catholic, Emily Dinhart finding Emily Burks. The, boat, the bank is open for her. CC up 9-6 after that. Muller keeping the Raiders in it. Gets the feed. Spins, lays it up and in, but everybody's sprinting back now for both teams. And just seconds later, CeCe's Onkin finds Angela Tharp wide open on the wing, and she drains the three ball. This one back and forth throughout. Ends up going into overtime, but the Knights able to pull out the victory in enemy territory. 72-69, the final. Look at that pass, Cameron. Beautiful slip. In the other semifinal, Benton Central scoring off with Twin Lakes. Lady Indians playing strong early on in this one. Courtney Bozeman grabs the loose ball, drives through the Lady Bison defense, gets a shot to go off glass. Twin Lakes up by two in the third quarter. More from Bozeman now, takes the cross court pass, using a little English this time to get this lane to fall. Lady Indians still up by two, but late in the third, Ben Central getting its act together. Ebony Payne driving the lane for the deuce. Lady Bison up by three at that point. Benton Central attacking the basket relentlessly. Taylor Tucker, the freshman, taking the contact and one. Lady Bison come from behind for the 10-point win, 57-47 the final. Over to Delphi High School for the Indiana Kitchen Classic. Third quarter, Frontier's Katie Neary receives the inbounds pass, curls to the paint, hits the basket to pull the Falcons within two at 20-18. Later in the third, Carroll's Macy Willoughby Gets a step on her defender, drives the bucket, gets the hoop and the harm. The Lady Cougars would go up eight after the free throw there. A few moments later, the Lady Cougars extend their lead to double digits. Carly Kingery feeding it inside to Bailey Whirl, who whirls it in there. Step and lays it in. Fourth quarter, Frontier applying the press. Macy Willoughby with the outlet pass to Michaela Jackson, who catches it in stride off the window. Carroll wins 47-31. In semifinal number two at Delphi, Tri-County taking on the host Oracles. Tri-County's Christy LeBeau drives, finds Kim Whitcomb, loses her defender with the head fake, drains the opening bucket of the game. Nice little shot there. Delphi's Riley Lane gets a handle of the loose ball, finds a wide open Danny Swayze up the court. She goes up and in for the lay-in. That made it 7-2 Oracles. And if it works once, let's try it again. Delphi's Tatum Minier gets the rebound. Guess who's all alone? Swayze for the layup once again. Delphi keeps pouring on. Bailey Gasser finding Michaela Roth baseline. She finishes off the window. Oracles go on to win this one by 20, 57, 27, the final. Switching gears 